Welcome to the Flash Performance Garage. I'm Chad and I have a multi-process project today. We have a 2008 Chevy Silverado truck with a big block 4.3 V6 in it and it runs like a dog pooping razor blades and the customer also wants me to add some keys to it. So the perfect tool for that is going to be the IM608. So we're going to get the process started and see if we can get this thing figured out. The beautiful part about using the IM608 is we can do both the keys and the key fob that I need to add and do the diagnostic side of it. So let's jump into it. So we're going to go to the tool. We're going to go ahead and click on diagnostics and we can do an auto VIN. We are connected to the VCI and the truck is on. So there's the VIN. We'll do OT. It does have a manual HVAC and it is under. Uh, it is not a Z95 package, and it does not have JL4, so we'll go without. So 2008, 4.3, that is all correct. We're going to do diagnose, auto scan, and now we're going to start scanning all the modules. We want to go through all the modules because I need to get a total health picture of this truck. I need to figure out why it's misfiring, any codes that may be present. So we'll just go ahead and go through all of them. The customer said, I don't want any lights to come on after you give it back to me. So we're going to see what else is in here because it had a lot of lights on. It had a TPMS light on, an airbag light, a check engine light. So we'll see what all the, uh, the fuss is about here. Now that we've hit 100%, you can see that there's quite a few codes throughout the truck. So let's go ahead and go down here to report and see if we can get a better idea of what's going on. So heated oxygen sensor circuit, uh, bank one, bank one, bank one sensor one. So it looks like we got a lot of stuff there. Failed, 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 failed. So we have to check out the oxygen sensors, of course, see what's going on there. Evaporative emissions, vent solenoid. Now mass airflow sensor, this one doesn't really concern me. The customer drove it here without the air tube on. So the mass airflow sensor wasn't even reading. So I'm not worried about that one just yet. We're going to let that one slide. Throttle position sensor performance, more oxygen sensor intake has to do with the mass airflow sensor. Um, let's see here. It looks like we have an airbag module. The right front impact sensor is giving us a code. So we'll check that out. And then unprogrammed transponder. So we'll, uh, we'll get those keys programmed to the truck while we're here. So I think where we want to start is let's start in the engine and see if there's any misfire codes that come up because it does have a shake to it. So let's get this truck started up. I'm gonna go into the engine control module. Let's go into live data. And I wanna see if there's any misfires. Okay, we can hear the engine coming down. Current cylinder misfire, zero, 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 zero. And we are cycling, so the crank sensor and the cam sensor are not picking up any misfires on this current setup. So we know that, we know that the misfires are not the issue, so it's not actually a misfire issue. Uh, and we have all those oxygen sensor issues, so let's check the oxygen sensors and fuel trims and see where that takes us. So we're going to go back. Now we want to go into fuel trims and check and see where the fuel trims are. That'll give us some information about what's going on inside the engine and we can verify that oxygen sensor while we're there. So let's go to bank one sensor one and we're going to go to bank two sensor one. I want to see those two on top of each other. It's so hard to watch these flickering back and forth. So we're going to go to graph merge and we can see our blue line is bank one sensor one, it's not moving at all. And then we got bank two sensor one is switching rich and lean like it's supposed to. So that sensor is working properly. So we definitely know that we have a stuck bank two sensor one issue. So we'll check that piece out. Now the other thing that I wanna check out is we did have an EVAP code for an EVAP solenoid. So let's get the truck up in the air and go test and check that solenoid to see if it's working properly. 
Now that I have the truck up in the air, we're going back here where the fuel tank is, and the solenoid is actually right at the back of the fuel tank attached to the fuel tank, so it's very easy to get to. Let me zoom you in on that. On the scan tool, we're going to go ahead and back out of this screen. So we're going to click back, and we're going to go back one more time. We're going to go into active tests. Under active tests, EVAP vent solenoid. We're going to select that. And then we're going to do an active venting. So currently it says that the solenoid is venting. We're going to grab the solenoid with our hand. We're going to activate it on. And it says not venting. It did not change anything. We're going to go off. Again, didn't change anything. So now we have to check for power to make sure the computer has control of that. To do that, I'm going to use this little Noid light that I can plug into our connector to see, to see if we have control of the solenoid. So I'm plugged in, so I have command and then I would assume ground on the other side. I haven't checked the wiring diagram, but we're going to see if this circuit is good. So we're going to go ahead and click on, and you can see off, on, off. You can see that we do have control of this solenoid, so we know that that solenoid is bad. We're going to go ahead and take the replacement solenoid go ahead and plug that in. We're going to hold on to it, see if we can feel it. I'm sure you can even hear that, hear it popping. So we know that that solenoid is good. So I'll go ahead and swap that out. Now that I have the solenoid replaced, I want to verify that it works. And the reason I want to verify this one is because it came from a salvage yard. So I'm not going to say that my customer slash friend is cheap, but uh, he's cheap. So if you haven't seen the fire behind me, that is because I'm getting ready to smoke the truck. Holy cow, that thing's making tons of smoke. Shut that baby down for a second. <coughs> so this is my smoke monster elf. This is the S25 model and I'm going to smoke the tank on this truck because that will put smoke in the tank and then push it past that vent solenoid. So I did not connect the vent solenoid up all the way on the opposite side of the vent solenoid because I want to verify that this solenoid works. I hate to do all this work with a used part and then it still not be good. So we can hear the vent open and closing, but, but we want to make sure that's actually going to stop the vapors from coming through. So we're going to use smoke. And to do that, we're going to use this little cone that comes with my smoke monster. This is a very pliable, flexible cone. We're going to stick this down the fill tube and smoke out the tank. That fits in there nice and tight. We'll go ahead and get some smoke rolling again. We can see a nice stream of smoke coming out of there. Now that I have smoke going through the fuel tank, it's actually going into the charcoal canister and you can see the smoke coming out. And also you can see that this smoke machine puts off a whole lot of smoke. I'm going to go ahead and turn on so it is not venting. And you can see that that immediately kills the uh, smoke coming out. Now all I have is, is just residual hanging around. I'm going to turn that back on. And smoke starts coming out again. So we know that that solenoid is good. On. However, we can see that my clamp's not very good because it's coming out right there at the hose. So I think I need to, uh, I think I need to fix that too. So I'll get that taken care of, but we know that our vent works. Woohoo! We got quite a few things fixed on this truck in this episode. We got the oxygen sensor we know we need to replace. I got the solenoid fixed and checked and verified. So we know that those are good to go. I got to do the airbag sensor next, which is no big deal. I'm just going to swap that out and see if that takes care of the issue. The next step is going to be programming keys. and I'm going to do that in another episode. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm Chad from Flash Performance. Thanks for watching.